Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this flicker effect that I found out how to do in DaVinci Resolve. Now there's a few ways you could do this, but this is something I've recently found out how to use, and it's just a cool way to spice up your video. And it's also very simple. But guys, before we get into this video, if you guys want to speed up your time while editing, I sell digital assets to creators like you to help speed up the process of editing. So the creator bundle down below is on sale for the price of one, as well as pre-animate V2. But without further ado, we are going to hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. All right guys, so in this video, I, I have this audio with this clip, this, you know, these multiple clips of footage, you know, just from my test footage of my new camera. So this is what we have. Nothing crazy. Just absolutely nothing crazy. So this is going to be a pretty cool effect. So we're going to start it first things first in the very first front of the clip. So before the video actually even starts, I'm going to extend my clip out just a little bit. And you know, it doesn't have to be crazy. We're only gonna make it a few frames long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight probably will do. So every one frame, we're gonna cut it and delete the frame. So one frame, cut, one frame. Then for this one, we're gonna go two frames. Cut that out, one frame, cut. One frame, cut, one frame, cut. So now, boom, so we have something like this now. But what we could do is in each of one of these clips, we can come to the fusion page. And what we can do is hit shift space and search for a brightness slash contrast, go to the inspector tab. And on this first frame, we're just going to set a keyframe. And at the end, we're just gonna crank the gain up like so. So now it'll just slowly make itself to the brightness. So then we're gonna copy this and go into each and every single one of these clips and just Command C, Command V into the effect. And we're just gonna do this for each of the clips. So now, it has a more brighter effect to it. Now, there are a few more things we're gonna do to really spice this up. Now, this could be really used in any sort of footage that you could want to use it for. And gym edits, I use it in a lot of gym edits. You could use it for vlogs, for cinematic transitions, you know, whatever it may be. So I'm just gonna grab a few sound effects. Now I'm gonna be using sound effects from my sound effect pack on the website, first link in the description. Now this is actually in the creator bundle as well. We have a few things. We have this, a couple of these. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take one singular frame of a sound. And we're just gonna place this over this first clip. So now we have this small effect. We're just gonna place this over every single one of our clips. So now we have something like this. And what we're able to do here is instead of this last one, we can grab this, this cam shoot effect in my bundle as well. And we're gonna just place this right here, turn it down a whole bunch because it's going to be very loud. And what we could do is also a part of the creator bundle is grab a flash plus shake and just kind of place this on our footage and you'll get something like this. So then for this one, we're also gonna do a transition. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six frames this time. Bring this up, bring this clip down. We're gonna do something a little different this time. So we're gonna do every other frame like this. Instead, this time, we're just going to have that clip below it. So, and we could even bring that clip right there to do it even more. So cut, cut these frame by frame. And within these clips, we're gonna change the brightness. So on the bottom clip, we're gonna now command V this brightness effect. So now it looks like this bottom clip is going to be the one we're transitioning to. So now we have something like this. And I'm just gonna take all these sound effects again, the same sound effects, and we're gonna place them right here because it's about the same, yeah, it's the same. But this time we're gonna turn these semitones down and just turn this up a little bit. So now we have something like this. So now it sounds a little different, sounds lower. And then for the ending here, we could just grab this sound effect right here and just place it at the end. So it's like, so it's like a transition, so. And that right there, I'm pretty happy with. I think it's a cool, simple effect that you could do to just spice your footage up even just a little bit to make it not so boring. So 
That is exactly how to add a flicker effect in DaVinci Resolve. And don't forget to grab the creator bundle down below. It's actually on sale, literally half off right now. So just go cop that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned something in this video and leave a like and subscribe. Guys, we're almost at 10K. We are very close to hitting 10K subscribers. So I have a special giveaway for the 10,000 subscribers. So maybe that could be you. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. So long. You're in me, nothing can be a loss I put my face in the dark and declare your soul